All right, what up, Block Fam? Standing here with Jeff G. Holt. That's a me. You guys uh, don't follow V Twin Visionary. Uh, I just love saying the name because you start like every video off with like Jeff G. Holt, right? Yeah. Yeah. Jeff G. Holt, V Twin yeah. Visionary. So do you have like everybody walks up to you and says this? Yeah, they do. Hey, it's Jeff G. Holt. Hey, this is Jeff G. Holt. Hey, it's Jeff G. Holt. Hey, it's Jeff, Jeff G. Holt. G. Holt. <laughs> That's awesome. Those of you that don't know, uh, would you like to explain what V Twin Visionary is? Sure, like V Twin Visionary kind of started out of the ashes of the paper magazine days. I was the editor of Hot Bike, Street Chopper, oh, Handbaggers, and um, ended up, you know, the magazine world kind of faltered, and uh, I was left without a job. And my wife said, "Take three months off, figure out what you do with your life, start off this, you know, start off as an online magazine media resource kind of thing, and then." Through my relationship with companies and things like that, we've done custom bike builds. We do a road show they call the Beachwood Visionary US Tour. We've uh, had a lot of fun, and five years later, we are at the museum wrapped around the Jeff Decker statue with 50,000 people a day saying hello to us. Isn't that wild? Would you have ever imagined, like, when you started doing this, that you would be like right here with Not your stuff? Not a million years. Congrats, Super man. Crazy. You know, the level of what we do, and, and you know, I was pushing performance, you know, 15 years ago, and now performance is it. You yeah. know, I'm considered yeah. kind of, I don't know, being one of the older guys that push performance. And, you know, with our builds that we personally do and are pretty influential around the, around the globe, you know, we kind of adopt things early on and they become the standard. Oh, yeah. It's just been a lot of fun, you know. And I kind of like the way the Beach One Visionary sounded. I didn't really realize that we'd be pushing the envelope on our builds. It lot, sounds you know? pristine, like prestigious. Yeah. yeah. I didn't want it to be super biker. The logo's very simple, very plain. Something, I wanted something to be completely different than what I was doing with Hot Bike and Street Chopper right. and all that stuff. For those of you that, like I said, don't follow them, be sure to go check them out. Instagram, they're constantly doing it. Crazy builds, reviewing gear. Um, they've got a lot of their own stuff. So if you guys want t-shirts, and then they've uh, got a couple of really awesome builds as well. Which yeah. uh, so I met Jeff. Uh, you probably shouldn't say that on uh, where we're standing right now. Yeah, hallowed ground. Yeah. Yeah, so we met at a press event <laughs> a couple years ago, yeah. briefly, and so he was down to walk us through a couple of builds, so I figured that's what we show you guys today. Perfect. So yeah. we'll talk about our Sportster S Type R. <laughs> um, what we've done with it is I kind of wanted to keep the integrity of the bike, but kind of shed a lot of the OE stuff I thought was obtrusive or bulky or just not fitting our style of build. Right. So what we did is we started by taking all the big clunky stuff off. Um, I had a great friend named Pete at Dexterous Engineering, who's one of the best metal workers in the business. He actually hand fabricated the fairing and the tail section. We kind of really wanted it to be more of like a 80s super bike look, kind of coupled with a futuristic Harley motor. And uh, as you can see, we, we presented it here in bare metal. It will get a full paint job, and word on the street is we're going to swap the wheels out and have somebody racing it next year. Nice. So uh, oh, it's going to be super cool. And the, uh, what is it, the hooligan class? Yeah, or? the hooligan yeah. class. Nice. So, so I've heard, as per the tuning on the Sports Dress, that it'll actually have a leg up, potentially. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> With the tuning, they, they get pretty damn busy. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. We're really uh, setting the bar, so uh, we actually have a Sports Dress that a lot of you guys have asked us about. Where's the build? Where's the build? So we want to build it into what they were talking about doing the Bronx. Into. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah. So we're going to like hyper naked, you know, it's all our suspense and all that good stuff. So to see what you guys have done with this, awesome, dude. Yeah. yeah. Thanks so much. Super man. sick. Yeah. So next up is our snow camo bike. Uh, it's a 2023 Road Glide ST. We've uh, kind of definitely up the level of carbon fiber on this. It's actually woven snow carbon from Ghost Composites out of Los Angeles, California. The but they imported the carbon from like Antarctica. Yes, of course. The Yeti makes it. Welcome to the Himalayas! It's all full carbon. The tank is actually wrapped with the same carbon fiber. It's not glue on panels, it's really wrapped. Ghost Composites done an amazing job. He's done a bunch of other guys, did the thrashing bikes, some, some of the other ones this Where year. Where did they base that up? 
Los Angeles, California. LA, yeah. Where are you guys based out of? Uh, now we're in Maryville, Tennessee. Oh, I was sorry. born and raised in California, moved to Arizona. We've lived in that trailer for two years and we just bought some land too. Bro, like uh, there's been a couple people that have bought land in Tennessee recently yeah. and I just went up to the Dragon Hat. Yep. And uh, yeah, I want to look for land in Tennessee. I live eight miles from the Tell the Dragon. Do you? So uh, anytime you want to come, house is getting built, so we'll have plenty of rooms for oh, yeah. everybody. I appreciate it, man. Yeah. You guys heard on the internet, right? Just hit up Jeff Jingle if you need somebody to somewhere to stay. That's right. <laughs> we did a lot of stuff. Vance and Hines were kind enough to give us their their bagger pipe and their intake. Uh, of course, I don't build a bike without Behringer brakes on it. It's a personal build of mine. And you know, just a lot of cool stuff on it. SBC mini small floorboards, full adjustable height, brake pedal oh, wow. from OG Moto. I did OG Moto's, their risers and you know, their gauges, ODI grips and new Vans grips. Um, we're going to debut those on, the, on this bike. The, the OG stuff, they're the guys out of Canada, right? Yes, they're yeah, out of Canada. Yeah, they're, cool. they're making some cool they're stuff. They're making killer stuff. Another guy out of Canada is Danger Boy. They do these levers. I saw these. They do two fingers and four finger levers. Super rad stuff. Yeah. Nice. It's got a Speed Dealer swing arm, which is a thing of beauty. And we're running a pretty big rear rotor. It's a 300 rear rotor, which is pretty unheard of. Put a bit of on the, yeah. on the back. You can see the spacers on those Behringers. I like the spools so yeah. you guys can stand Super it up. Cool, yeah. man. I mean, all in all, I kept it pretty sedate with the silvers, the blacks, a little bit of black chrome, and then kind of just let the snow carbon shine. Right. Yeah. Right choice for sure. Yeah. Did you guys like shave some weight, obviously, on it? Yeah. We took it between the exhaust and all the carbon. It's We, we lost about 130 pounds. Holy sh. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. Wow. And it has okay. a, a very simple yet really cool uh, suspension setup from Wilbur's on it. It's uh, self-leveling. It's like Cadillac suspension. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's pretty. I was I was surprised. You know, I'm going to be using this bike as a test bed for a lot of products, and yeah. you know, usually I, I use uh, Legends exclusively. Right. But I'm trying to get back into the editorial mode again, and, and having this bike as a test bike now for all right. these products is what it's going to be. That it's going to be a carbon fiber mule for you know, <laughs> for uh, the next couple of years. It's a hell of a mule, man. So yeah. we did a, uh, a comparison uh, for Wilbur suspension back in the day. Yep. And that like before and after on the bumps, holy shit. I was, I was very impressed. So I'm super excited to get more miles on it. You yeah. Know? People can like check this out. You got like YouTube or just Instagram? Yeah, we or... have YouTube. We have YouTube, Instagram, the website. It's all V Twin Visionary at V Twin Visionary, blah, 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 blah. Okay. And we're everywhere on the USA tour. I've got a good crew of guys, man. I couldn't do it without, first of all, my wife, who is the backbone of each one visionary, nice. uh, and my business partner, Dave, and then our cast of characters, you know? It's been awesome. And, exactly. I mean, come on, I'm, I live a blessed life. I don't I don't take it for granted at all. Yep. I'm sure you don't either, the yeah. way you guys. We're very fortunate to have people out there that watch us, see what we do, helps the industry. You guys help the industry in intense ways. I just can't say enough how much I dig talk at, you know that. Thanks, man. Yeah, so we were having a conversation like whenever we met up a couple days ago and we were just talking about how lucky, you know, we are for, for you guys, for the community, yeah, man. you know, watching this stuff and letting us do the, what we're passionate about, just the positivity in, involved in the community. That's what I love, man. You know, I'm, I'm all about the PMA, positive mental attitude. I mean, oh, I like it. right there. Nice. <laughs> I got it everywhere, man. It's, it's what I do, man. I came from a pretty difficult spot in my life when I was younger and to be able to have the freedom and the backing from from all of our partners and Harley Davidson is unreal to me. I mean, I still wake up and trip out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's really cool that you have that on your knuckles. So mine, slow down, is for my grandpa, and it's one of those things like he would tell me pretty often is to like stop, reflect, and realize where you are. That's the deal. Take a breath. Yeah. So for me, <laughs> and I told you this a couple days ago, yeah. but like to be here, like rubbing elbows with you, like I'm a designer, I'm a web developer, like first and then i just happened to like start messing around with the camera and motorcycles so to be able to like talk to you and randomly i just walked up to him today i was like what's up man hey you want to do a video of course <laughs> like, this is what immediately we do, man. yeah so i feel i feel super <laughs> blessed man and i appreciate you i appreciate you man seriously we can't do it without all the community man yeah. and i thank all of you letting us do us and be us yeah wrapped around the uh the statue jeff Decker. that's that's big that's a big deal <laughs> know, congrats man thanks so much guys yeah. uh, any other bikes you want to throw in you want to show us i mean oh, you got man. a ton of other we stuff we got here. a ton of stuff the chopper show's going on crazy today i mean man i think you should just fill them up with some b-roll on all the good yeah. stuff don't listen to me anymore <laughs>
He said he was gonna talk the whole time. I'm like, awesome, that means I don't have to talk, so. All right, so we'll show you guys some B-roll of uh, the choppers. Y'all be sure to go give them a follow. People can find you at B-TwinVisionary, B-TwinVisionary.com. Oh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe, go give them a follow. Thank and, you. Uh, until next time, ride safe, stay vigilant. Catch you on the next one. Peace. Thank you.